Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode. We hope you enjoy it. Oh, don't forget if you can please subscribe and share because we really like to see those subscription numbers go up and we appreciate all those people you have subscribed in the past. So thank you very much. Now without further ado, on with the video. Today we are at the Charleston Museum. So I invite you to come along with me and see what we can see. On the outside of the museum, we come across the Civil War submarine, the Hunley. Entering the museum, we come into an impressive foyer. Very impressive. You feast your eyes on a bronze carriage, all kinds of antiques, a horse-drawn wagon, and a statue. And that's just where you go to pay the ticket. You haven't even gone into the museum yet. On the back side of the first floor, you come across these minerals and stone that are absolutely beautiful. There's also ironworks from different places in Charleston and the surrounding area. And don't forget to look up because they have these beautiful chandeliers including this one that is both electric and gas together. Somehow I don't think that's the best mix. On the second floor is where you will find most of the historical items. You can take the elevator which gives a really neat green screen type effect if you want to use it or you can use the stairs. The mission of the Charleston Museum is to educate Charleston area residents and visitors about the natural and cultural history of South Carolina Lowcountry through the collections, exhibitions, preservation programs, and research. This is an example of what used to be called a close stool armchair, otherwise known as a necessary chair, which is where you have to do the necessary business. Me, if I would have had to call it something, I probably would have called it a crappy chair, but probably doesn't have the same ring to it. Founded in 1773 and commonly regarded as America's first museum, the Charleston Museum is a nonprofit organization inspired in part by the creation of the British Museum. The museum was established by the Charleston Library Society on the eve of the American Revolution and its early history was characterized by association with distinguished South Carolinians and scientific figures including Charles Coatsworth Pinckney, Thomas Hayward Jr., Reverend John Bachman, and John Audubon. First opened to the public in 1824, the museum developed prominent collections which Harvard Science Louis 
Agiz, declared in 1852 to be among the finest in America. How would you like to have this four-foot coffee grinder in your kitchen? How to give you some caffeine. Operations were temporarily suspended due to the Civil War, but began again shortly afterward. Progressively acquired since the late 18th century, the museum's collections now represent the most comprehensive assembly of South Carolina materials in the nation. Focusing on the South Carolina Low Country, modern collecting emphasis includes natural history, history, material culture, and both documentary and photographic researches. I was a little concerned when we saw the mummies, but there was no daddies. Where did they go? I wonder if they're like the Scottish. How would you like to have a bank teller table like that? They definitely don't make them like that anymore. In the restrooms, they have something quite interesting. A display of chamber pots. Now that is classic South Carolina humor. Now when you come to the Charlton Museum, don't forget to come out to the courtyard. There's plenty of other things to view as well. A few things are hidden, so you do have to look for it. But again, don't forget to come out to the courtyard. After a long day at the museum, we went to Martha Lou's Kitchen, where we got a very wonderful and traditional lunch. Um, fried chicken, collard greens, those kind of things, and it was wonderful. Well, we thank you very much for coming along with us to the Charleston Museum, and as always, have a great day.